Hi there. Thank you so much for reading and watching this week's twos letter. All right. So trying to just show a few different summer game ideas this summer time when you may be uh, doing your reading intervention lessons. Here's one that I've repurposed. Now, whenever I gamify any activity, I try my best to make sure that I am integrating both reading and spelling within that game. And I try to make sure that whatever game directions there are, they don't pull away from the actual learning activity. This one that I've come up with uh, really integrates reading and spelling very nicely. It's a great way to practice the SOS strategy if you want before you get into the dictation portion of your Orton-Gillingham lesson. So let me show you what it is. So got this silly ice cream game off of Amazon. And it looks like this. I will post the link. All right. So this is what you get when you get the game out of the box. So I'm just putting it on this tray so I can hold it up to all of you. You get a little ice cream cone to put in this stand and you get 12 different ice cream uh, scoops and you get a scooper. The scooper has a button on it. Let me show you how the scooper works. When a student picks up an ice cream scoop, don't press the button, just pick it up and it's locked in. And then you put it onto the cone and release it. Okay, so that's how it works. As I was playing this a little bit after, I thought, huh, this, because it's like makes a nice little four by three array there. You could even make this into a little game of concentration where you hide something under the scoops. And if they make a match, then they get to stack them onto the cone. So you could do it that way. I did it a little bit differently. Okay, so we were reviewing some um, SH digraph words. So I would say a word. I'm just going to put this down for a minute. Uh, so say I said the word ship, say ship ship. Okay. And tap it out. Ship. And they tap it out on the table or however you like to do that and write it S H I P. Look at it and read it. Ship. Okay. And I like to use the line side so that if I am using a whiteboard that has lines on it, really watching letter formation, or you can have them do it in cursive for extra cursive practice. If the word is spelled correctly, then they get to stack an ice cream on the cone. Okay. And you keep doing that. And every time they get, they, every time they spell a word on their board, they get to add a new cone. Now, the fun part about this is that the goal of the game is to make the tallest ice cream cone. Now I've had some students stack up about five scoops and then topples over. I've had some actually stack up up to nine and they, I don't know what it is. Absolutely love this game. It's really kind of silly and fun, but we end up reading and practicing a lot of words. So that is this game right here. Uh, funny game, ice cream toy. It's kind of just like a generic name from some Amazon thing that I found for repurposing. Um, so give that a try and I hope your students enjoy it. Don't forget, just a quick reminder, Building Readers for Life begins August 1st. You'll have three months of access. It's all asynchronous. So you just watch it on your own time. Uh, there's also a podcast option. If you'd like to listen to that, the podcast option gives you access forever. So you can listen to them over and over again. All right. Uh, have a great week and I will post those links to those items if you want to check them out. Take care.